Okay. I just got to make this one more video here real quick because uh, there's, there's some fucking morons here that pretend to be uh, liberty lovers that are really starting to get the hell on my nerves anyways. There's this one guy in particular. I had posted a, a link to the Huffington Post article uh, regarding, if you're Canadian, I'm sure you're familiar with this at this point, about the Quebec, uh, the student protesters, they, the, the, there's one of them in particular that was shot in the face with a tear gas canister at close range uh, when they were at their anti-austerity rally. Now, let me preface this by saying, I, I mean, well, anyone that understands freedom or liberty or, or anything to, to that nature I mean yes some of these students I mean you know wanting free education or reduced tuition or whatever I mean there's lots of people that can turn around and say real quick but you gotta remember these are students okay it's pretty easy to say anyways let me get let me let me go back here and let me just go through how uh, how this play how this little scenario played out so uh, my uh, my caption at the top of the article said with, uh, on top of the caption of the picture of the uh, the, f the idiot cop there that's got his uh, launcher, his tear gas launcher, held up. And the picture shows the smoke blasting. It looks like a little bit of flames on one lady's shirt. And then where it had nailed this girl. I mean, if you see the picture, right, it's, it's rough. I mean, she got it good in the face. Pretty bad. So, anyways, my caption on here was uh, these thugs treat the youth of this country like second-class citizens and most Canadians don't seem to care which I mean if you're if you're on social media you know that there's some people like myself or like us that do speak up but for the most part our friends the ones in our group or the family members or a lot of them just don't say a goddamn word they just see, I don't know, choose to just hide in the corner anyways so I had this comment and this is a guy, I'm not sure if you're familiar with Tim Mullen, he's the the new leader of the Libertarian Party of Canada, which I think he's even self-identified as, as an anarchist, but he's trying to do the thing like Ron Paul, more or less, which kind of used the political process to help spread information and, and turn people on to libertarian values, philosophies, and principles. I get that. Hey, if that's what he's doing, I have no problem with that because there's... There's no one answer for everything when it comes to dealing with this kind of stuff. It's like we are all going to try our different approaches, whichever one works. It's just like with the market. If it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. But if you, if you can help in any way, shape, or form, try whatever you can. Anyways, so I got tremendous amount of respect for Tim. Uh, I, I don't believe in the political process myself anymore, as I mentioned in prior the, the last video. But if someone wants to try that, just like Ron Paul, I mean, that guy's uh, I mean. Ron Paul is a, is a tremendous man, even though he was a statesman and he, he thought the political pro... He actually uh, helped turn a lot of people on to understand the reality and what liberty is all about. So, like I said, get no problem with people trying that. So here's this guy that's a, a friend of uh, Tim. His name's Connor Smith. His first comment... To, on, on on my article that I had posted to my Canadian Libertarian page was stop trying to make the cops look like the villains this group of kids attacked the police when you charge a police line in a protest you deserve what you get I have no sympathy, sympathy for this girl and the officers involved has my full support now I mean what the fuck man I mean what the fuck seriously though first of all you, the picture's there the video is all, like, you can see, oh, first of all, the students, I mean, and you've seen these protests, most students, even if they got a black bandana or a headband or, they're predominantly mostly unarmed, young teens, teens, young, unarmed teens in Canada, where it's not like guns are fucking rampant on the streets, okay? They're protesting. You got cops, which we've all seen this a thousand times over. How are the cops dressed? You know, full-on armor, body wear to protect you from any kind of shit, visors, helmets, the whole fucking meal deal. And this guy's going to say that, oh, while they attacked the police, 
should dress basically like paramilitary fucking idiots that could you could drop them in Afghanistan or Iraq right now wearing the same gear and they'd be fit right in against unarmed basically you know young teenagers that are just trying to get by and figure what they can to you know not be treated like second class citizens in their own country but here's this asshole saying the kids attack the police and if you charge the police at, at the protest you deserve whatever you get which i mean whatever you get right whatever you get well, what, well we've all seen what what the ultimate whatever you get can be it could be fucking shot in the fucking face shot in the head shot in the back killed in cold blood murder is this what this asshat's trying to suggest that oh well how dare you stand up you know to the mindless enforcers for the government the thugs and these kids all these kids their fucking parents paying fucking taxes for free education, right? 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 It's free health care, all this fucking bullshit, socialist nonsense. There's supposed to be people paying decades after decades so that these kids can have a decent shot at it, which we know they're not. They're going to get shafted, of course. But so they're even trying to stand up for themselves. And this, this asshat, like I said, I can't, this guy fucking really pissing me off, going defending these, these fucking mindless enforcer thug pieces of shit. And with his full support. Now, you're a friend of Tim Mullen. Tim, if you see this video ever, you may want to let your buddy Connor Smith know that he's a fucking mindless status piece of shit, all right? People like him are, are the ones that are actually fucking causing the, this, the liberty movement to stagnate, slow down, not have not have the effect that it should have because you got ass hats like this that try to act like they're lovers of liberty, which... I mean, he's just a mindless piece of shit status as far as I'm concerned. But let, let, let me go on and uh, uh, I'll add my comment to, to what I, or I'll read my comment I gave to him to see what, uh, what his secondary comment was after that. You can make whatever excuses, this for me, you can make whatever excuses for these mindless enforcers, for, the, for these mindless enforcers or the politicians. I, on the other hand, do not have a bad case of Stockholm Syndrome. I wouldn't blame an animal for wanting to escape his cage. I wouldn't blame a woman for wanting to avoid being raped. And I don't blame the young people in this country for wanting to stand up for themselves. I do, however, blame anyone that lives off the blood, sweat, and tears of the lowly taxpayer and who knowingly goes into a job where the number one priority is to carry out the orders of the most violent, corrupt people on the planet, namely the politicians and legislatures in this country. Now, here's his reply to that. And as you can see, I didn't insult the man. Spoken like it's the way I feel I should. I put my points across. I didn't deride him in any way, shape, or form. Anyways, here, here's his reply. They weren't standing up for themselves. The entire point of that rally was for the Quebec students wanting free post-secondary education. These are the ones who want to leech off the taxpayer. As if the fuck... The guy can post this shit without recognizing that. How the fuck... It, how do the cops get paid again? Which making a hell of a lot more than... Wait, wait a minute. How are these students going to get paid? Oh, no, no. Actually, no, no. They're just going to get an education and sit in a fucking classroom where the teachers that are going to teach them are the ones that are actually making the fucking money, once again, living off of my money. That I've never said, I've never offered one of these assholes my money or the cops, none of them, never once. But he's going to blame these kids that want an education. Now, that's something that I will pay for. I'll pay for it. But what, why you need to go to these, anyways, when you get in the education system yet, uh, we'll leave that for another one. Um... Those degenerate students want to live off the toils of the taxpayer. They are not animals wanting to escape their cage. The police are there to enforce the law and to uphold the peace in our society. When a group of mindless teenagers get together and attack those police officers, they deserve whatever they get. I mean, okay, like, really, though? Like I said, I hope I hope you see this video, Tim. Because these, the, these are the people that you call call your friends. These are These are your friends. If these are your friends... You don't even want to know who the fuck your enemies are because this person is not helping nobody, all right? He, 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 he it's someone that has, and I've, I've seen these people. There's a few of them in the Liberty Movement, and I'll call them out, and that's the point of these videos now is because it's much easier to call these asshats out on a video than it is trying to type and argue back and forth. 
if you claim to be in the living moon, don't don't try to pick. There's no one-off issue, okay? There's no, uh, well, I believe in freedom for this, or I believe in liberty for... No, you either believe in fucking freedom, or you don't. You don't get to pick and choose. Oh, well, well I like guns, so I'm going to stand up for the gun rights, guys. Or, well, I love being a teacher. Hey, I got three teachers in my family, so I'm going to stand up for the teacher. No, you either believe in fucking freedom, or you don't. And if you believe in freedom, that means freedom from tyranny for all, okay? And these students are just young people. And like I, my last comment that I just posted, which I'm, I want to state, they are merely reflecting the socialist mentality instilled in them by their teachers, parents, and politicians. It's easy to blame the victim, huh? So they're, I mean, and, and we all know this, students are a product, just like children, they're a product of their environment. All right. If they seem like they're entitled or wanting freebie shit or what, they didn't make up this shit on their own. All right. They watched it from all around them. What do you think? What do you think they were taught this crap when they were going to school? Wait, wait, their parents are probably half of their parents are probably socialist in nature. I mean, that is Quebec. This is Canada. I mean, a lot of Canadians love their socialism. All right. So, so you, you teach this to these kids their whole lives, and, and then they regurgitate. Exactly what you've taught them. Oh, then you're going to fucking beat them down for doing that? Then you're going to fucking shoot them in the face with tear gas canisters for standing up for themselves when that's what they were taught to stand up for themselves for? Huh? No, that's bullshit. That air is absolute bullshit. And, I, and, and this guy, Connor Smith, I mean, I'll tell you the truth, I wouldn't even want to... Listen, if I were you, I'd hide my face or, or find... Find some status and fascists and socialists. Any collective you can find, those are the people with, that you should be should be hanging around with because they'll regurgitate. They'll be the echo chamber you need. I, I don't know. Maybe Tim doesn't pay attention to your stuff, but either way, I'm sure even he would tell you, hey, man, you know, get a grip there, buddy. Anyways, that's that's enough for my rant on this stuff. I'm, I'm going gonna, gonna to take a break from the vid video. For now, anyways, this is Ben Hunter, a.k.a. the Canadian Libertarian, saying, I love liberty. Have a good one.